Is overeating really the cause of obesity? This is a coverage of an article. For the most part, this is a good article and we're gonna cover the basics on it, but it falls apart at some of the very core. And we'll talk about that. So don't worry about getting misinformed. We'll talk about the places, the weak spots. But let's get to the article itself. It's in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition 2021. Participants were from the US and Denmark. The treatment of obesity might sound really simple to some. Eat less, move more. And who of us has not heard that before? So if we've all heard that, why are worldwide obesity rates increasing every day? Is it possible that the current approach based on calorie counting, diet and exercise. In other words, the bank account concept, calories in, calories out. Is it possible that that's misguided? Well, a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition 2021 suggests that maybe eating more might not be the cause of obesity, but maybe the other way around. In other words, as Gary Taubes first coined in his book, Why We Get Fat and What to Do About It, maybe it's not that we're getting fat because we're eating more. Maybe it's that we're eating more because we're getting fat. Let's go back and look at adolescence for a second. Teenagers eat a lot of calories each day. They're classic for that. So, and yes, at this point, there is a problem with teenage obesity, but even in thin teenagers, you tend to see a lot of calories. So is overeating what causes teenagers to grow in this stage of life or is it rapid growth which requires building new tissue and what is it that makes teenagers eat more you know the reason i'm bouncing around this topic is to help all of us understand something i think you're all sitting there saying it's the hormones well guess what you're right it is the hormones and if it's the hormones in teenagers maybe it's the hormones with us middle agers as well you see in obesity insulin is key when we eat rapidly digestible carbohydrates, sweetened cereals, potato chips, sugary beverages, those raise insulin levels too high. And if our insulin receptors are not receptive, sensitive to insulin, we just have to keep pushing, releasing more and more insulin to bang against those resistant insulin receptors. So after that, fat cells store a lot of calories, leaving less available in the bloodstream, and that triggers hunger and overeating. In other words, one of the things that people don't understand is that insulin also decreases fat burning. That's not a problem that teenagers have. They don't have all that extra insulin, so they're not laying down as much fat and they don't have a problem with decreased fat burning. Again, this is an insulin issue. 